Your 2020 isn't a floor plan mode as a standard. And what that means is, is if we move over to our drag and drop menu, you can grab hold of any item, drag it over to a floor plan and drop it and design in this mode. Well, many of you prefer to work in elevation mode. Or you may be working in a scenario where you're stacking cabinets, moving items up and down, and you need to see an elevation. The way we open elevations in 2020 is we indicate which wall we want to see an elevation of. We do so by left-clicking inside of the placement zone of that wall. And you'll notice when I left-click, it actually puts points on all four corners. Once you've selected your placement zone, I take my mouse and I move it just outside of the placement zone to a blank place on the floor plan and here I right click. When I right click, it gives me a list of options. Do I want to see elevations? Do I want to see an item list? Do I want to see a drawing layout? Well, we want to see an elevation. So I'll choose add elevation and when I do so, you see an elevation at the top of your screen. I like to zoom in on my elevations. Matter of fact, what I like to really do is adjust the size of my elevation, my floor plan mode, by using this bar that goes across the center of the screen. If I put my cursor right on top of it, you'll see a little up down arrow. If you hold your left button down on your mouse, you can adjust how much space that elevation occupies on your screen. In this case, I opened up the elevation a little bit larger, and if I wanted to center my elevation, I would simply double click on the wheel on my mouse and it centers it automatically. I can do the same thing for the floor plan. Double click on the floor plan and now that's centered as well. Now, second question I usually get about elevations. First one is, how do you open an elevation? The next question is, how do you get rid of the elevation? Well, there's actually two ways to remove or adjust your elevation. I mentioned before that you can grab hold of this line and determine how much space it takes on your floor plan. One of the things I like to personally do is I like to drag this line up to the top of my screen so that I can still see the elevation tab and know it's open, but I can always work on my floor plan and anytime I want, I can grab hold of that line again and holding my left button down just to open it up again. You could drag it up and down. That's one way. The second way is to actually permanently delete it. The way you would delete an elevation is just like before where we clicked in the workspace and then we right clicked on the floor plan. Well, you can return to the floor plan and right click or you can return to your elevation as long as you're outside of the wall area. You can right click on the open space and you'll see that delete elevation is right in the middle of your plan. And when I choose delete, my elevation's gone. Now, let's take this one step further. The control key in Windows is a multi-select function. Many of you will like to work in one, two, or three elevations at a time. Well, we could have opened up an elevation of that wall by left-clicking on it, right-clicking and saying, add elevation. I could have then gone to my next wall and left-click on it, right-clicked and said, add elevation. And you see, as I do that, I get elevation one, elevation two, one by one. I can make as many elevations as I want. I have another function that I like to use to do something similar. What I like to do is I like to hold the control key down. I will click on a wall. I'll hold the control key down. So I'll say click, click, and click. I clicked on three separate sections. And because I was holding the control key down, all three are now selected. If I right click in the middle of the floor plan and choose add elevation, I now have all three elevations active at the same time. I can literally go and drag and drop items right into the elevation mode and design just as if I was working on the floor plan mode. Elevations, floor plans, design whatever way makes you the most comfortable.